Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to Diabetes Daily Dose, your go-to for practical tips on managing diabetes and living your healthiest life. Today we're diving into a topic that's super important for anyone watching their sugar intake sodas. We all know sugary drinks aren't the best choice, but some are worse than others, especially if you're diabetic. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and shouldn't be taken as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian for personalized guidance on managing your diet. Please like, subscribe, and comment below with any questions you might have. Now, let's break down the top sodas diabetics should avoid. First up, we have the classic culprit regular cola. Now this one might seem obvious, but it's important to understand why it's a big no-no for diabetics. A typical can of regular cola packs a whopping 39 grams of sugar, which is like swallowing a sugar cube after sugar cube after sugar cube. This massive sugar rush spikes your blood sugar levels, putting you on a roller coaster ride you definitely don't want to be on. Over time, these constant spikes can lead to insulin resistance, a major contributor to type 2 diabetes. So, while that can of cola might seem tempting, remember the sugar overload it brings. Not only is regular cola loaded with sugar, but it also offers zero nutritional value. That's right, we're talking about empty calories that contribute to weight gain and other health problems. Excess weight, especially around the midsection, further increases your risk of insulin resistance and other chronic conditions. It's like adding fuel to the fire. Remember, managing diabetes is about making healthy choices that support your overall well-being. Choosing water, unsweetened tea, or other low-sugar alternatives over regular cola is a huge step in the right direction. Breaking up with regular cola can be tough, especially if it's a long-time habit, but trust me, your body will thank you for it. Start by gradually reducing your intake. If you drink a can a day, try cutting back to half a can or every other day. Explore other beverage options like flavored water, herbal teas, or even sparkling water with a splash of lemon or lime. You might be surprised at how many delicious and healthy alternatives are out there. Moving on to another popular choice, cherry soda. While the bright red color and sweet taste might seem appealing, don't let them fool you. Cherry soda, like its cola cousin, is loaded with sugar, often in the form of high fructose corn syrup. This type of sugar is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. And if that wasn't bad enough, most cherry sodas get their vibrant color and cherry flavor from artificial ingredients, not real fruit. These additives offer no nutritional value and may even have negative health effects in the long run. Let's talk more about high fructose corn syrup for a second. This sweetener is a common ingredient in many processed foods and drinks, including cherry soda. The problem with high fructose corn syrup is that our bodies metabolize it differently than regular sugar. It's more easily converted into fat, leading to weight gain, especially around the abdomen. This excess fat accumulation can increase your risk of insulin resistance, fatty liver disease, and other metabolic disorders. So when you see high fructose corn syrup on the label, consider it a red flag. Instead of reaching for a sugary cherry soda, opt for a refreshing glass of water infused with real cherries. You'll get the natural sweetness and flavor without the added sugar and artificial ingredients. If you're craving carbonation, try unsweetened sparkling water with a splash of cherry juice or a few frozen cherries. Remember, small changes can make a big difference in managing your blood sugar levels and overall health. All right, folks, let's talk about grape soda. It's got that vibrant purple hue, that sweet, almost artificial grape flavor. You might be thinking grapes are a fruit, fruit is healthy, so grape soda can't be that bad, right? Wrong. Don't let the color fool you. We're about to dive deep into why this sugary concoction is on the no-go list for my diabetic viewers. First things first, most grape sodas contain little to no actual grape juice. It's mostly water, sugar, and artificial flavorings designed to mimic the taste of grapes. And when I say sugar, I mean loads of it. We're talking about a sugar rush waiting to happen. Now you know, I'm all about keeping your blood sugar levels in check, especially if you're diabetic. And guess what sends those levels skyrocketing? You got it, sugar. 
grape soda is loaded with it, which means a quick spike in blood glucose, followed by an inevitable crash. Not exactly the recipe for a healthy and energized you. So, remember that innocent-looking purple beverage is nothing more than a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't be fooled by the fruity facade, we're going for healthy choices here, and grape soda just doesn't make the cut. Let's break down exactly why in the next section. Now let's talk about this thing called the glycemic index, or GI for short. It's basically a measure of how quickly a food or drink causes your blood sugar levels to rise. High GI foods, like our friend grape soda, are quickly digested and cause rapid spikes in blood sugar. Why is this important for diabetics? Well, constantly bombarding your system with these sugary drinks can overwork your pancreas, the organ responsible for producing insulin, which helps regulate your blood sugar. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, a major risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Think of it like this. Your pancreas is like a hard-working bouncer at a popular nightclub. Every time you sip on that grape soda, it's like sending a whole busload of partygoers to the club all at once. The bouncer, your pancreas, is overwhelmed, struggling to keep up with the influx. Eventually, the bouncer gets tired and less efficient at their job. That's similar to what happens with insulin resistance. Your body becomes less responsive to insulin, leading to elevated blood sugar levels and a cascade of health problems down the line. Not a party you want to be a part of. Okay, so we've established that grape soda is a no-go. But what can you enjoy instead? The good news is, there are plenty of delicious and healthy alternatives out there that won't send your blood sugar on a roller coaster ride. First and foremost, water. It's the best thing you can drink hands down. It's naturally sugar-free, calorie-free, and keeps you hydrated. If plain water sounds boring, jazz it up with some fresh fruit slices like lemons, limes, or cucumbers. Unsweetened iced tea is another great option. It's refreshing, flavorful, and won't spike your blood sugar levels. If you're craving something fizzy, try sparkling water with a splash of unsweetened fruit juice. And for those times when you want something a little more indulgent, go for a small serving of whole fruit. You'll get the sweetness you crave along with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Remember, making healthier choices doesn't mean sacrificing flavor. There are plenty of delicious and refreshing alternatives out there that will quench your thirst without sabotaging your health. So ditch the sugary drinks and embrace a healthier, happier you. All right, so we've talked about the usual suspects like cola and fruit-flavored sodas, but what about those refreshing citrusy lemon-lime drinks? They seem healthier, right? Not so fast. Don't let the tangy citrus flavor fool you. While they might seem like a lighter choice, many lemon-lime sodas pack a sugary punch that can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels. Remember, we're aiming for beverages that work with our bodies, not against them, especially when it comes to managing diabetes. These bubbly temptations often hide behind bright colors and claims of natural flavors, but the truth lurks within their nutrition labels. A closer look often reveals a hefty dose of sugar, sometimes even rivaling their cola counterparts. And don't even get me started on the artificial sweeteners lurking in some of these drinks. We'll dive into those next, but let's just say they come with their own set of concerns. Stick around. Now let's talk about those artificial sweeteners I mentioned. Many lemon-lime sodas in an attempt to appear healthier, swap out sugar for artificial sweeteners. Sounds like a good idea on the surface, right? Well, not quite. These artificial sweeteners may seem like a saving grace allowing you to enjoy that sweet citrusy fizz without the sugar overload. However, emerging research suggests that these artificial sweeteners might not be as innocent as we once thought. Some studies have linked artificial sweeteners to an increased risk of certain health problems, including weight gain and even metabolic issues. Remember, managing diabetes is about more than just controlling blood sugar, it's about overall health and well-being. So while swapping out sugar for artificial sweeteners might seem like a good idea, it's crucial to be mindful of the potential long-term effects. Always talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian to make informed choices about artificial sweeteners. So, what's the verdict on lemon-lime soda? Well, like most things in life, moderation is key. If you're craving that citrusy fizz, opt for a sugar-free version and enjoy it occasionally as a treat. But for everyday hydration, ditch the soda aisle altogether. Remember, water should always be your go-to thirst quencher. 
It's naturally sugar-free, calorie-free, and essential for keeping your body functioning at its best. If you're looking for a little more flavor, try infusing your water with fresh fruits like lemon, lime, or even cucumber. Unsweetened iced tea is another refreshing option, and herbal teas offer a variety of flavors and potential health benefits. Remember, managing diabetes is a marathon, not a sprint. Making small, sustainable changes to your diet, like choosing healthier beverages, can significantly impact your overall health and well-being in the long run. All right, let's tackle a big one diet soda. It's often marketed as the healthier choice for those watching their sugar intake, including individuals managing diabetes. But is it really a free pass? Diet sodas ditch the sugar in favor of artificial sweeteners, promising that sweet taste without the calorie and blood sugar spike. Sounds like a win-win, right? Well, not so fast. While diet soda might seem like a safe alternative, it's essential to understand how these drinks can affect your body and potentially impact your health in the long run. Remember, managing diabetes is about more than just avoiding sugar. It's about making informed choices that support your overall well-being. So before you grab that can of diet soda, let's delve into the potential pros and cons, separate fact from fiction, and equip you with the knowledge to make the best choices for your health journey. As we discussed earlier, artificial sweeteners are often the go-to sugar substitute in diet sodas. They provide that sweet kick without the calories of sugar, which can be appealing for those watching their weight or managing their blood sugar levels. However, the long-term effects of artificial sweeteners are still being studied, and some research suggests there might be cause for concern. Some studies have linked artificial sweeteners to an increased risk of certain health issues including weight gain, metabolic disorders, and even an increased risk of stroke. Now it's important to note that more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of artificial sweeteners. The studies showing potential risks often involve high consumption levels, and more research is needed to determine safe intake levels. But it's crucial to be mindful of these potential risks and talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian to determine if artificial sweeteners are right for you. They can help you weigh the potential benefits and risks based on your individual health status and goals. So, where does this leave us with diet soda? While it might seem like a tempting alternative to sugary drinks, it's essential to approach diet soda with caution and moderation. Remember, the key to managing diabetes and supporting your overall health is to focus on a balanced diet and lifestyle. This includes choosing beverages that provide hydration and nutrients without added sugars or artificial ingredients. Water should always be your go-to thirst quencher. It's naturally sugar-free, calorie-free, and essential for keeping your body functioning correctly. If you're craving something with more flavor, try infusing your water with fresh fruits, herbs, or even a splash of unsweetened juice. Unsweetened tea, both hot and cold, is another excellent option, offering a variety of flavors and potential health benefits. And if you're looking for something bubbly, try sparkling water with a squeeze of lemon or lime. Remember, making healthier choices doesn't mean sacrificing flavor or enjoyment. That's it for our Diabetes Daily Dose on sodas. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the sugar overload in regular sodas to the potential risks of artificial sweeteners in diet varieties. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing your health. Making informed choices about what you drink is crucial for managing your blood sugar levels, maintaining a healthy weight, and supporting your overall well-being. And remember, always consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian to create a personalized nutrition plan that meets your individual needs. Thanks for tuning in to Diabetes Daily Dose. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more informative content and share it with your friends and family. Until next time, stay healthy and hydrated.